Welcome! In this video we're going to drive an LED with the minimal Arduino that we created in the previous video. In addition to the minimal Arduino we're going to use a red LED and a 220 ohms resistor both of which you see here. In addition we will use an Arduino Uno to program the Atmega 328 microcontroller and a couple of more DuPont wires and some electrical tape. We will build on the previous KiCad project and will add the LED and resistor to the schematic. So let's open the schematic layout editor where we see the schematic of the minimal Arduino that we created in the previous video. As explained in the first video, the Arduino drives the built-in LED on pin 13 which matches with pin 19 on the Atmega 328 as you can see here. This means that we have to connect the LED to pin 19. Let's add the LED to the schematic. We press A to add a component, search for LED and choose the first most general one. Let's place it here and rotate it such that it flows from pin 19 to ground. Let's edit the text to state that this is a red LED. Let's then add the resistor. Searching for R is enough. And let's place it here. Let's edit the text and add 220 ohm. In the previous video we marked pin 19 to have no connection. Let's remove that now. We can now connect all the components with wires. We've just completed the schematic and are almost done. We only have to annotate the components and perform the electrical rule check. So let's annotate the components. We can see that the resistor and LED have automatically been assigned unique identifiers and now we can perform the electrical rule check. Running the electrical rule check shows no issues which means that we successfully created the schematic for the minimal Arduino with an LED. Before we connect the LED to the microcontroller we have to program it. We can place the Atmega328 in a regular Arduino Uno and connect the Arduino Uno to our computer with USB. We will open the Arduino IDE and in my case it opens in the program Blink. If it doesn't, you can open it with the Files menu, Examples, Basics and Blink. We are going to change Blink slightly. Let's copy the body of loop and add it to the end. Let's change these values to 500 from 1000 milliseconds. This means that the Arduino should blink for one second and for half a second. We can then verify our program and upload it to the Arduino. You can see that the LED blinks for a second and then for half a second. This means that the microcontroller has been programmed, so let's pull it out of the Arduino Uno and use it for the minimal Arduino. You can see the minimal Arduino working here after we have connected the VCC and ground to a 5 volt power source. 